welcome back to the Our City Channel for an episode here of our FC24 career mode with, of course, Manchester City, Ilkay Gundogan in charge. Some news here about the Ballon d'Or winner. Julian Alvarez won the Ballon d'Or, not Erling Haaland. So we sold Alvarez to Real Madrid in return for Erling Haaland returning and Alvarez went and won the Ballon d'Or. Wow. Young player of the year award has gone to a player who plays for Real Madrid. It is Daniel Pinto. A week's top 11, so things. City maintain the title charge. But one interesting sort of news I saw was Aston Villa, Man City and Yang Kuto talks. Well, that is news to me because I don't believe we are in Yang Kuto talks. Well, today's episode is looking like this. Wickham away from home in the cup, which will simulate. We're going to play Liverpool at home, of course. We're going to simulate Shakhtar Donetsk. I've got it written down here, so I remember. We're going to simulate Wolves as well. Against the 1st December, where we will play um, Brighton. We might play... We might play Frankfurt. We'll simulate Leicester at home and then play Everton away to end the episode, I believe, on the 12th of December. Although we could go all the way to the Bilbao game if we do simulate the Frankfurt one and play Everton and play Bilbao away from home. I'm not exactly sure, but like I said, 10 episodes is the plan for this series, so we're looking to simulate more games than we usually do. First game was Wickham Wanderers away from home where we picked up a 2-1 win in the Emirates FA Cup. Goals from Claudio Echivere and João Pedro. Ratings-wise, it was Mateus Nunes who was 85 rated overall. But in fact, the man of the match went to, not Echivere, but João Pedro with an 8.7 rating. And into the Premier League action now where Manchester City top of the Premier League table after 10 games with 27 points. Face 5th place Liverpool at home at the Etihad. This is where the Liverpool side is looking. Fatuitu on the right, Fatuwu on the front side, Kies, the very skillful player on the other side, Jankovic, the false nine, Zubimendi, Barrios, and Balagizzi in the midfield three. Trent at right back, Beck at left back, and Oyoro and Romero, the partnership, Captain Oyoro, Alison Becker in goal, uh, Kabore, Raspadori, Agate, Nico, Gonzalez on the bench there, as well as Calvin Ramsey, Cunningham, and Amos. They've won three and drawn two their last five, Liverpool. There's something about that side. I don't understand it, really. Um, I don't... I mean, Balagizzi, I'm, I assume he's very good. Why isn't Raspadori starting? Why isn't Agate starting? You'd think they're good players. We've beat Liverpool before. We know they're going to play. I think we can beat them again. Well, this is the Manchester City side for Liverpool. Edison starts and go with Jan Kuto, Goy, Doyle and Barco at the back four. Captain Phil Foden, partners Rodondo and Rico Lewis in the midfield three with Docu on the right, Musiello on the left. And Haaland through the middle on the bench. We've got João Pedro, Savio, Echivere, Great, Odriogo, Scali and Borza today. So test at the Etihad Stadium. It's first versus fifth. It's Manchester City, Ilkay Gundogan side running away with the Premier League title race at the moment. Quite a way clear at the top. But of course we have had that big defeat to Spurs in the previous episode. And that is something to keep an eye on in today's episode. Oh, Doku. Nicely done. Foden. It's Rico Lewis for City. It's pushed away by Alisson. Behind for a corner. What a start that could have been. Good save by the Brazilian Allison corner for Phil Foden to take. Foden in. Goy in there. Away. Trent lumps it away, away from Musiala. Foden. Foden. And Kuto made that run. Foden keeps going here. Foden across the box to Jeremy Doku. Brilliant goal from City. Finished by Doku. An assist for Phil Foden. Manchester City take a 1-0 lead. Ball through here by Foden. Just kept going. Squares it for Doku. I don't know how Romero gets beaten to that. I'd have to see it near it. Does Romero put that in his own net? Is it actually Doku who scores there? Well, Trent Alexander Arnold's not over it as it stands. In fact, we would expect to score it anyway off the crossbar. Why didn't the electron have that? Here's Jan Kuto, counter Manchester City. Near the corner flag. Kuto. There, Phil Foden. Jan Kuto. Rico Lewis, back to Jan Kuto, takes it well, Jan Kuto in towards Musiala, Liverpool get a toe in there to stop Musiala finishing that one off, finds Barco well, Haaland's gone, Barco's gone to Doku, Jeremy Doku, Doku, Doku for the second of the day, saved by Alisson, Jankovic once again, Mark Goy, won it and then lost it, a chance to turn, Doyle with a good tackle, Kuto can't get it away. Tackle in the box by Goy behind for a corner for Liverpool. City on shaky ground here. Rico Lewis with the win. Great win by Rico. And he keeps it. And he gives it away. Should have gone back. He usually would go back there, Rico Lewis. He wouldn't have Pep Guardiola. Rico in there can't win it. Ball on the line here towards Beck. Here's the fullback Beck. 
Koi, wrong side of him. Raspadori's on here. Raspadori! What a strike. Edison, nowhere to be seen there, the goalkeeper. Let's it come across him. And Liverpool equalise. We're not close enough. That's the first thing. I, I, I genuinely do believe Edison should do better there. Changes now. Savio on for Musiala. City one, Liverpool one. Lewis, good play by Rico. Other Ogo. Through. It's Savio. It's saved. It's Docker the rebound. And Liverpool away. Liverpool counter. Great ball in behind to the fullback. Got you across. Got you across again. Other Ogo in there. Chance for Liverpool here. Take the lead. Goye spun. And Liverpool are in front against Manchester City. Fatou scores. Crap defending again by Goye. Stood off him. Not tight enough to his man. Mero bursts away. Other all go across. Goye. Defence have been so bad today. Foul in there again. Liverpool free kick. Surprised they don't play that quick. Again, Trent's not over it. It's Fatou over it. And it's right up into the stands. That's full time. City 1, Liverpool 2. We lose at the start of the episode. 2 on defeat to Liverpool. Not good enough. Well, centre-back is definitely in my thinking after recent results. Jules Koundé is one of those former Barcelona man and Sevilla man who's been heavily linked with City over many years. City have always wanted, I mean, they wanted him when he was at Sevilla, but they didn't go for him ahead of Ruben Diaz. They wanted him when he was still at Sevilla, when they wanted to replace Nathan Ake, but Ake stayed in the end. Two goals, no assist, and a depth centre-back blending experience with exceptional pace and athleticism, which is a big part of his game. Possesses remarkable and build proficiency, orchestrate attacks from deep. Um, an individual, an invaluable asset, seamlessly combining defensive prowess and dynamic playmaking, elevating teams, transitions and defensive stability. He looks a really good player. He's one that's not the tallest, but he's, his physical stats are fantastic. He's one that City have really wanted for a long, long time. And if we are looking for a centre-back, the fact that he's at Bayer Leverkusen makes it a deal possible to make happen. We followed up that game, that defeat to Liverpool at home with a 5-1 smashing of Shakhtar at home. Goals from Echivere, Rico Luis, João Pedro, um, Luis with a double actually, and Baptiste in the 84th minute. Goes a 5-1 win, high ratings all around the board. João Pedro gets man of the match with a 9.5 rating. From there we played Wolves at home and picked up a 2-1 win, a late goal from Jeremy Doku, a goal from Erling Carlin as well in the 24th minute. Men's City win, and it is Erling Carlin with an 8.7 rating who gets man of the match. So we do sit four points clear at the top of the Premier League table despite two defeats and a few wins. And we haven't got the best defensive record despite the best attacking record. 12th place Brighton away to Roberto Zerbi's side up next. Well, Roberto Zerbi's former side look like this. Duranville and Talisca in the wide areas with Mullins in behind Merthink up top. Captain Calvin Phillips and Ben Assur part in midfield too with Sadia. Up Meccano, Decker and Truff at the back four. Rushworth is the keeper. Two players out suspended, Dino, Bimbe and Scott, both on red cards. Billy Gilmore, Mavropanos, Tammy Abrahams and Newmark, just a few of the players known on the bench. Two wins in their last two, but before that, two losses and one draw. I don't know how they're going to play, I mean, but Ben Assur, Duranville are very good players in this Brighton team. Well, just one change or two changes that Man City starting 11 on this right-hand side. Savio in for Doku and Scali in for Jan Q. Other than that, it's our usual starting 11. So here we are at the Amex Arena, Manchester City. Up against the former player and Brighton captain in Calvin Phillips. The 33-year-old starts the midfield for Brighton. Be interested to see how he plays. He was signed by Roberto De Zerbi to go to Brighton. At the ground today is Haaland and De Zerbi to former Manchester City and a former Brighton manager. They're in discussions. City versus Brighton. A big win against Shakhtar. Musiala. Brilliant turn by Musiala. Phil Foden. Foden. Foden taken down in the box by Denker. And it is a penalty, and it's only a yellow card for Decker. That surely is a red. Taken down in the box. Did he go for the ball? I'm not exactly sure. Penalty Manchester City. Phil Foden steps up. I don't think so. Erling Haaland steps up for Manchester City. Haaland's that top corner. What a hit by Haaland. City take the lead at the Amex. And a big finish by City's Norwegian on his return to the Premier League. He's been brilliant. Stepped up on this penalty. 98 penalty. Look at that. 
You, you, even if the keeper goes the right way, he does not keep that one out. Manchester City take the lead, and the Premier League's top goal scorer now is 11 in nine games. Was the first time ball through to Phil Foden there. Goit is Savio. Savio runs from midfield. Savio into Phil Foden. Foden for City. Foden. Foden makes it 2 0. Brilliant from the captain. Manchester City lead by two goals to nil. That's more like it, the Amex here today. Looking more like our normal side. Ball through by Savio. And Foden on the counter. Lifts it over the keeper. Rush with easy. I mean, they've got Diet of McCann at the back. They've got a really good side, Brighton. Rico. Brilliant feet by Rico. Into Phil Foden. Back into Rico Lewis. We'll see Alec. We'll see Alec. Onto Foden here. Phil Foden! What a goal by City 3 0. A double for the captain today. He's been absolutely spectacular, Phil Foden. 3 0 Manchester City. And there was a time in Phil Foden's career where we thought it wasn't going to work for him. He got injured so many times in this save. And I just thought every season, a three or four month injury. At least one. I thought, you know what? Maybe Phil Foden's not going to make it. Well, I'll tell you what. Foden here. What a performance from midfield. 3-0 Manchester City. He's been fantastic, Phil Foden. Absolutely spectacular from Phil. Haaland goes and wins it back. Brilliant from Haaland. On to Redondo. On to Rico Lewis. Rico. It's Newmark, the substitute. Ball in. Does find a man. A brighter man on the far side. Goy in there to block it. City get away in the counter now with Musiala. Into Haaland. First time to Musiala. Brighton are in trouble. Here's Jamal Musiala. Musiala, good save by Rushworth. Just narrowed the angle a little bit too much for himself there. To Liska back forward. Haaland wins it back. Back to Phil Foden. Foden. In towards Savio. Away again by Brighton. Redondo hits one. Oh my word. What a strike by Federico Redondo. That is insane. 4-0 Manchester City. And Federico Redondo hits an absolute screamer. Incredible strike by Redondo. Look at this for a hit. One touch, bang. How many yards out? And into the top corner for 4-0. What a hit by Redondo. 4-0 Manchester City. Just before half-time. Redondo seals the three points. And that is a spectacular strike from a spectacular player. Rico Lewis. White to Barco. Sees that run of Musiala. Keeps it well, Musiala. Back to Barco. Rico Lewis. Savio. Lovely feet by Savio. Phil Foden dinks it. Oh my word, what a goal. 5 0. Hat trick for Phil Foden. And some of the best goals of the season have been scored in this game. What a team goal again. Phil Foden combining with Savio. Lifts it over the keeper. So calmly. So calmly. By Phil Foden. Just thinks it over Rushworth for 5 0. We have been spectacular today. And with that Phil Foden hat trick, he's going to come off today for other Ogo. I think that is the right change, really. All City looking to keep a clean sheet. If they can do, shot blocked away. Haaland, Rico Lewis, space for Joao Pedro. And here's Joao Pedro up against Upamecano. Cuts inside of Meccano. Up through other Ogo. Savio. Scali, keep that run going. Scali does. Scali in. Oh, no one there. Back to Edison. Cross, and we get away with that one. Callum Doyle, good running. Here's Rico Lewis. Here's Joao Pedro. And there's the full time whistle. Brighton nil, City 5. A clean sheet. And a really good performance. And I think Phil Foden's probably going to get man of the match here. But Redondo, don't forget that Redondo goal, which was absolutely spectacular. Yeah, no doubts about this. Phil Foden with a hat-trick gets a 10.0 rating. Redondo played really well, very well as well with an 8.2. Even Goya got an 8 rating at the back. Well, this is probably the final scout report on centre-backs that we could move for in the January transfer market. And it's Alessandro Bastione. 22 appearances, no goals, but 5 assists from centre-back. An exceptional centre-back. Europe's 
Premier on the ball defender, probably the best in the world. Both remarkable passing range and technical prowess. Adept defensively, though, untested beyond Italy. He's still playing for Inter Milan after all these years at 29 years of age. Uh, Alessandro Bastione. Uh, whether he's the right player for us, I don't know. On the ball, he's certainly fantastic. But I want someone who's more of an out-and-out -out defender and not as good on the ball. I think Bastione out of the four we scout is probably the best on the ball. But I don't think he's the best individual defender, maybe. I don't think he's the quickest, uh, even though physically quite good as well. But he's certainly maybe number two on my list of possible options. Uh, we'll have to see, but he's certainly he's certainly an option. Certainly an option for us. Four that we've got in our scout reports now are Julian... Uh, uh, we've got Ronald Araujo of Arsenal. We've got Jules Koundé of Bayer Leverkusen, both former Barcelona players who played with Ilkay Gundogan. We've got Alessandro Bastione. And we also have Matthias Dillit of Bayern Munich as well. Well, I was considering playing a game against Eintracht Frankfurt, but we're considering we're already pretty much through in the Champions League here. We are going to simulate the, 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 this game, and then we'll play the one against Bilbao with the second team, let them get a run out in the Champions League. And we get a 2-0 win at home against Eintracht Frankfurt. Phil Foden follows up his hat-trick away at Brighton with a double at home against Frankfurt and another 10.0 rating for Manchester City's captain. Well, 19th place, Leicester City the next side to visit the Premier League champions, Manchester City, a 2-1 win. An 87th minute winner from Odorogo in the midfield and a man of match for Archie Gray, the youngster playing that holding role, a 2 on win for Manchester City. So sitting top of the Premier League table, Manchester City flying at the moment. 12 wins, 2 defeats, no draws quite yet for Ilkay Gundogan's side with the best defensive record and offensive record in the Premier League. We sit quite a way clear of second place to Arsenal and away we go to 15th place Everton at Goodison Park, which is always a tough task. Everton start with Crespi up top and he's Dobbin and Poirot in the wide areas. Rissanez, Kraus and Marcos Peña in the midfield three. Mikkel Brakis, Captain Bade, Wu and Sesany on the back four. And in goal it is Bulker, Hulmian, Diop, Slater, Lorient, Araujo, Holgate and Virginia on the bench. No key defensive attacking plays. Everton very inconsistent in 15th place. Draw, loss, win, draw, loss. This is signed for Everton away. Edison starts and goal. It's Jan Kuto, Mark Goy, Callum Doyle and Barco at the back four. Redondo, Captain Foden and Mateus Nunes steps in for a tied Rico Lewis in the midfield three. Holland up top with Docu on the right and Yama Musiela on the left. João Pedro, Savio, Lawrence, Odorogo, Baptiste, Botha and also Gray on the bench. So away to Goodison Park. Away to Everton is never an easy one. Top goal scorer currently is Aileen Callum with only 11 goals. He usually scores more at the moment. He's not. City versus Everton, live here, and all eyes on Phil Foden, who's in fantastic form. Just can't stop scoring at the moment, Phil Foden. I'm hoping for more of the same today from Phil. Y2, the full back, back into Poado. Chased by Barco. Nice little back heel. Goy with a nice block, Doyle across. Doyle makes a challenge here. Penalty. Oh. Stuck a leg out, stretch for it, Callum Doyle. In the end, takes the Everton man with him. And it's a penalty. Crespi. Top corner, good finish. Everton take the lead on Manchester City here. Silly one to give away. Callum Doyle dives in. Redondo. We'll see how again. Phil Foden with space. Gordon White to Barco. Haaland is in there. Barco, what a ball to Haaland. 1-1. One -one. What a cross into Erling Haaland. And he taps it in. With power, as he always does. Good play from City. And we're level now. Nice ball in from Barco. Haaland here. That's a really good finish. That's a really good finish for his 12th of the season. City lead. Should lead. Thanks to that mistake from Callum Doyle. It's 1-1. One, one. Quado. Oh, good ball between Barco. Doyle across. Good challenge by Callum Doyle. That's better from Doyle. Back to Edison. To Mateus Nunes. He turns on it straight away. To Musiala, who also turns on it. Musiala. Musiala. Foden. Foden. It's opened up for Phil Foden. Good save. What a save by the keeper, by the way. Jan Kuto. Look at this run. No one near him. Oh, clicks up to Doku. Foden. Barco. Redondo. Musiala waiting. Musiala on the turn. Good save by Bulker. Behind front of the corner. And he's mine to get four there, Jan Kuto. He's done brilliantly. Doku into the channel to Haaland here. Haaland pulls it back. Musiala! Oh, what a save by Bulker. What a save by the goalkeeper behind for a corner. 
for a short corner here. Musiala forward him. Doyle. Callum Doyle! Slice it wide, the centre-back. Half-time, all level. Manchester City won. Everton won. Ball in. Free header. Edison makes the save. I think, I think Jan Kuta had it covered on the line, but not entirely sure. Ball in again. It's the same sort of place over the bar this time. By Sean Dyche's defender. Musiala. Musiala who's got dancing feet. Musiala. Great feet by Musiala. 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 Fold him. Jamie Doku. Good save by Bulker. Falls to Phil Foden. Great catch by the keeper. Changes needed now. Mateus Nunes showed the roll goal. Musiala's tired so he's going to come out for Savio here. On comes Savio. Foden. Here is Savio. First touch for the Brazilian. Savio. Inside Savio. Doku. Other all go. Back to Jamie Doku. Saved by Bulk. A great play. Saved by Bulk. A great play. Foden him. Haaland's in there away. Back out to Foden. Foden in. Other all on the volley. And it hits Bade. It hits Bade on the way through. If it doesn't, it's him. Because I don't think Bulk is saving that one. Going down to Jan Kuto. Forward to Savio. City forcing it now. Savio. Savio. Great skill. Other old goal blocked away by Everton once again. Trying to do these intricate little passes in midfield. It's not working. Callum steps out. Foul. Play on. Jan Kuto dives in. They beat him. They beat Goy as well. Chance for Everton. They take the lead at Goodison Park. Well, we don't finish our chances. And the opposition punish us. 2-1 Everton. Crap defending. Joao Pedro is going to come off. Redondo into centre-back. Odorogo in there. Barco. Fabozo is an attacking full-back as well. Manchester City are behind here. By two goals to one. Crap defending. Everton punishes. Into Borza. Phil Foden. Why to Jan Kuto. In. Howland and the volley. Blocked behind for a corner. By Captain Baddy. Cross him. Howland with the header over the bar by Bolker. Full time whistle goes. A 2 1 defeat to Everton. It's happened again. Sean Dyche does us. Unfortunately, Mateus Nunes, broken toe, three months without our midfielder. We love the broken toe injury, don't we? We got back to winning ways with Burnley at home. A 4-1 win for Manchester City. Erling Haaland with a double. Redondo and Foden on the score sheet as well. Haaland, does he get man of the match with a 9.4? I think he does. 9.4. Foden not be far, far off with a 9.0. But back to winning ways. That Everton one is on my mind. We're already through top of our Champions League group on 15 points. Five wins from a possible five. We're going to play our final game at the San Mamez against the Athletic Club. And we're going to rotate the side quite heavily. Let some of those players who don't usually play, play some football. The Bilbao side is uh, Enejunel up top. Gomez, Bino Gittens and Fran Perez in behind. Manu Kone, the captain with Gravenberg in the midfield too. Baku, Alderkill. Kaiki and Gaston Alvarez, the back four. Trubin starts in goal. Nick, Nico Serrano, Bertrand, Lamar, Coyote, Prados, Padilla and Gudretheta on the bench. Three wins and two draws in the Champions League group stage for them. This is side for Bilbao today. Vias starts in goal with Scali, Baptiste, Captain Goyen, both of the back four. Great other Ogo and Echivere in the midfield three. With Rodriguez Gentile up top, Lawrence on the right. And on the left, it is Joel and Dalla back from his injury. On the bench, Joao Pedro, Savio, Redondo, Luis, Doyle, Yankuto, and third choice goalkeeper, Joao Rulli. So arriving here at the San Mamez is Athletic Bilbao. The line is led by them. With Enezu now, far Manchester City striker who scored two in his previous game. Manchester City versus Athletic Bilbao, San Mamez. A lot of young players in there for Ilkay Gundogan's side. Pat East in there. Foul play on. Cross the far post here. Scali away. Still a chance. Good save by Vaez. Borza picks it up and he wins a corner. Or wins a goal kick actually in the end. To Gentile. Back into Joel and Darlet. And Darlet for City. Good feet by Ndala. And Darlet. Through to Echivere. Echivere off the post by Echivere. How has he not scored? And give us the 1 0 lead there. The man off this far side of the tackle by Goy. And then Dallas here now. Joel and Dallas. 
Very, very direct plays in the field to the Echivere. Gentile. Nice touch by him. Gentile! Big save by the keeper. Behind for a corner. The young man giving it a go. Swung in by Echivere. Goy attacks it. Save by Trubin. Oh, and behind for a corner. So close. Scally into Odorogo. And here is Emilio Lawrence. First chance for him to impress today. Lawrence. Ball through to Gentile is a great one. Here's Rodriguez Gentile. Rodriguez Gentile scores his first Manchester City goal, I think. I think that's his first goal. Past the goalkeeper. And at the San Mamez, the former Al Maria man scores. One for the future, certainly. Very nice strike. Bottom left-hand corner he finds. Thumps it home. Nolan Dahl at Echivere. Nice feet by Claudio Echivere. He can't keep it in. It's behind for a goal kick. And that is half time. Manchester City 1. Bilbao 0. Echivere was getting a bit tired, but he's working hard still. Archie Gray. Big challenge by Gray Lawrence. Counter City. Echivere. For the middle to Joao Pedro. And here is Joao Pedro. And Joao Pedro makes it 2 0 Manchester City. He's done it again, Joao Pedro. When he plays, he scores. And he scored again in the Brazilian. Ball through by Echivere. Joao Pedro onto the end of it. Into the top corner by the Brazilian. We're going to make change. Echivere is now very tired. Off he comes for Savio. Emilio Lawrence in there. The pass, the final pass isn't there. Baptiste in there and Dala wins it back for City. Good, good tracking back by Joel and Dala. Really good tracking back. Oh, Pedro. And Dala. Gentile. Gentile again. This time he does score. 3-0 City at San Mamez. Created a lot of chances today. Should have got way more. Rodriguez Gentile scores his second goal of his Manchester City career. Both have come in the Champions League tonight against Aleti Bilbao. Good finish. Really good finish. Baptiste there. Doesn't win it. Second chance at it, Baptiste. Clean sheet could be gone. It is gone. Vaez beat him. Shouldn't be beaten by that chance, but he is, Vaez. Enes Unal, who is some strange sort of striker that just seems to be really, really good. Unexpectedly good. 3-1. It's a shame we have conceded a goal. But a makeshift defense, what did I expect? Savio. Balls are running. Back to Savio. He gets it all wrong. Full-time Manchester City and the episode with a 3-1 win away from home in the Champions League. A 100% record in the Champions League. Six games, six wins. Let's see the player into this game and end this episode. Well, he spiked off the bench early in the second half. Joao Pedro gets a 9.0 rating. Gentile gets a uh, 8.5. But man of the match goes to Joao Pedro. 9.0 rating, only one goal, but he ran the show when he came off the bench. Thank you for watching, guys. Please do like the video if you haven't already. Please subscribe to channel if you are new. Want to see these videos unedited and extended early as well. Join the We Are City Members Club. We'll see you next time.